Hi, this is Steve Vitale from the Boston region. Coming to you today with Technique Peak, we're looking to regionalize pain in the neck with rotation. We know that rotation comes from multiple spots in the neck. We have the upper cervical spine, which includes the OA joint, where you get about two to four degrees of rotation, the AA joint, where you get about 45 degrees, and the rest comes from C2 all the way down through T3. So what we're gonna be trying to do is see if we can regionalize where the pain is pain source is generated from the upper cervical, mid cervical, or upper thoracic region. So Tyler here has pain with rotation to the right. Okay, all right, good. So we'll say that's his painful end field. Come back to center for me, please. Tyler, can you now drop your head down to the, your chest? Okay, this effectively up glides all of the facet joints in the mid cervical and upper thoracic joints and will almost lock in place there. So now, can you keep your head down, but rotate to the right, allowing motion through OA, AA, and a little bit of C2. Is this painful to you? If he says yes, this is a good indication to me that I want to further look at the upper cervical spine. I can localize, I can do my quick test on C2, can do my flexion rotation test, but it's an indication that I want to look more upper cervical. If he says no, this is no longer painful, now I want to continue this. So you can bring your head back up. All right. Cross your arms now for me, please. And you're gonna rotate your trunk to the left. Okay, while well, keeping it here, rotate your head back to the right. Do you have pain with this? If he says no, this is an indication that I wanna look at the upper thoracic spine. Effectively what has happened, stay here, is as he has rotated his trunk to the left, we have pulled the upper thoracic spine into left rotation, so when he brings his head back to the right, he still, he does not get to the end range there. If he says that there is pain with this, that's an indication to me that I want to look more into the mid-cervical spine. Remember, this is all just one way to help guide your exam. It's not a comprehensive part. Um, we want to make sure that we are doing a full comprehensive exam, and this can help push you in that direction.